Hello Junk Wax Investor Community. Today we'll be looking at the top 10 Junk Wax era basketball cards that sold on eBay in the last week. In addition to this awesome list, as always, I've included some bonus listings at the end as well. Definitely a great mix of cards. You don't want to miss those. Make sure you stay tuned to the end. All right, let's not waste any more time and get into the good stuff. Welcome to the Jordan and Shock Show. If you're looking for a little more variety, check out tomorrow's video where we'll do the exact same thing over again without Michael Jordan and without Shaq. Getting us started in 11th spot from 1993 Fleer. We have the Michael Jordan Living Legends insert graded in Mint Plus CSG 9.5. That was a fixed price sale for $500. In a Mint Plus CSG slab, it's a pop of only two, and there's one higher graded Gem Mint 10. Over at PSA, it has a Mint pop of 263, and they sell for around 200 to 300 bucks or so. And a Gem Mint 10 pop of 75, and they sell for a couple grand. So the Living Legends are inserted into Series 2 packs of 93 Fleer at 1 in 37 Wax Packs and 1 in 24 Jumbo Packs. Boxes of 1993 Fleer Series 2 sell for around 100 to 130 dollars. In the number 10 spot from 1995 Collector's Choice, we have the Michael Jordan Players Club Platinum Parallel, graded a gem in PSA 10, sold at auction for $609. In a gem mint slab, this rare parallel is a pop of only 12. These Players Club Platinums are inserted 1 in 35 packs, and this Jordan card is in Series 2. Boxes of 1995 Collector's Choice Series 2 sell for around $130 to $160. If you're interested into looking into any of these boxes further check out the links that i have in the description below those are ebay affiliate links that take you directly to ebay search results for all the boxes in our top 10 plus ones from our previous videos in the number nine spot from 1995 skybox premium we have the michael jordan electrified subset card graded gem in psa 10 was a fixed price sale for 700 dollars the electrified subset is in series two and this card has a gem mint pop of only 93. Boxes of 1995 Skybox Premium Series 2 sell for around $250 to $300. And the number 8 spot from 1994 Collector's Choice, we have a Michael Jordan Silver Signature Parallel graded gem mint BGS 9.5. There's a fixed price sale for $825. It's a pop of 5 in a gem mint slab with none graded higher, no pristines, no black labels. Some grades were 9.5 for centering edges surface and a 9 for corners. It's a gem mint PSA 10 pop of 68 and the silver signature, sign, let's try that again, the silver signature parallels were inserted 1 per pack and boxes of 94 collector's choice sell for around $80 to $130. In the number 7 spot from 1989 Fleer, we have Michael Jordan's base card graded gem in PSA 10. That was a fixed price sale for $1,025. Pop of this card is sneaking up on $1,100. We're three shy of $1,100. And boxes of 1989 Fleer sell for $450 to $600. In the number six spot from 1992 Tops, we'll take a break from the MJs and we'll throw Shaq in here for his gold parallel rookie card graded gem in PSA 10 sold at auction for $1,325. The gold parallels were inserted one per pack. The Shaq can be found in series two boxes. It's a pop of 685 in a gem mint slab and those series two boxes sell for around $140 to $180. In the number 5 spot from 1995 Skybox Premium, we have the Michael Jordan Meltdown insert graded in mint PSA 9 sold at auction for $1,500. It's a pop of only 54 in a mint slab and there are 16 higher graded gem mint 10s. These Meltdowns were inserted into second series packs that rated 1 in 54 packs and 1 in 42 jumbo packs. Boxes of 95 Skybox Premium Series 2 sell for around $250 to 300 bucks. That's the same box that you get that electrified subset out of as well. In the number 4 spot from 1993 Fleer Ultra, we have the Michael Jordan Scoring Kings insert graded in Mint BGS 9. This copy sold fixed price for $1,850. In the Mint BGS slab, it's a pop of 538 and there are 105 higher graded Gem Mint 9.5s. If the subgrades were 9.5 for edges, 9 for centering and surface, and then 8.5 for corners. 
The mint PSA 9 pop is only 268 and they sell for well over 2000 bucks all the time. The Scoring Kings are inserted into Series 1 at a rate of 1 in 36 packs, and boxes of 1993 Ultra Series 1 sell for around 340 to $425. All right, time to see what we have in the top three. But before we do, just a quick reminder, if you need any hobby supplies, check out BCW Supplies. There's a link in the description box below. Use the code JUNKWAX10 and save 10% on your order. In the third spot, we're going to stick with 1993 Fleer Ultra, this time for the Shaquille O'Neal's second year Scoring Kings insert, graded gem in PSA 10. This card sold at auction for $2,114. And a gem mint slab, that's a pop of only 15. As mentioned before, the Scoring Kings were a box hit, and those boxes of 93 Ultra sell for around $340 to $425. In the number two spot from 1992 Classic Draft Picks, we have a Shaquille O'Neal autographed rookie card number to 500, graded a gem in SGC 10, and it was a fixed price sale for $2,495. As a pop one in a gem in SGC slab, and when you look at 92 Classic Draft Picks, there's a few different Shaquille O'Neal autograph cards you can pull out of it. There's this one here that's number to 500. There's a similar one number to 2,500. And then there's a promo autograph that's numbered to 2500 as well. Boxes of 1992 classic draft picks sell for around $30 to $50. And top of the list this week in the number one spot from 1992 Top Stadium Club, we went clean sweep of the top three for Shaq this week. We have his Beam Team Rookie Year Insert graded gem in PSA 10. It was a fixed price sale for $4,500. It's a pop of 115 in a gem mint slab. The beam team inserts were inserted into series two boxes at a rate of one in 36 packs. And boxes of 92 Stadium Club Series 2 sell for around $240 to $280. All right, that's it for our top 11 this week. Let me know in the comments below which one of these would you want in your PC? Which one would you take? I think for me, I'd have to go with the 93 Fleer Ultra Scoring Kings Shaquille O'Neal second year card. It's a low pop of only 15. It's a gem mint slab. These Scoring Kings are tough to gem. And it's an iconic early 90s insert set. So I think that's, the one. that's my pick. Let me know what yours is in the comments below. And hit that like button while you're at it too. All right, time to check out our Junk Wax Investor Basketball Index for the week. We are up a little bit, 70.1. We had a little bit of an increase there. We're more or less in line with the NASDAQ this week. Uh, S&P 500 is at 78.2. Bitcoin was up a little bit this week as well, 45.3, down quite a bit since the beginning of the year. The Basketball Index is made up of 50 cards. Here's a list of those cards spanning from 1989 Fleer all the way up to 1996 Tops. Got a pretty awesome list of... Superstars and all the famers and a lot of rookie cards in there as well. Our weekly summary, we had 18 cards increase their price this week. That's a good sign. That's a big number. 12 with no change and we had 20 that had a decrease in their price this week. See how basketball is stacking up to the other three major sports that we cover. We have hockey in the lead, 85.5, followed closely by baseball at 84.2. Football is in third spot, 81.4. And then we got basketball with a little bit of an uptick, but it's still on the bottom at 70.4, but it's up off its lows of last week. I track all of the indexes for all the sports using the collections features of the Market Movers X app. It's a pretty awesome feature, and they got a bunch of other great tools for the hobby as well. If you're interested in checking it out, they have a few different tiers. There's a link in the description below. Use the code JWI, and you get the first month of your subscription for only a buck. All right, let's get in some bonus cards. First up, from 1995 Skybox Premium, we have the Michael Jordan Standouts Hobby Insert, graded mint PSA 9, and this card is sold at auction for $354. In a mint slab, it's a pop of only 45, and there's only 10 higher graded gem in 10s. These were randomly inserted exclusively into first series hobby packs at a rate of 1 in 18 packs. From 1996 Skybox Premium, we have Shaquille O'Neal, card number 274, which is the Double Trouble. This is a Ruby's Parallel, graded mint PSA 9. It was a fixed price sale for $175. This is a pop of 8 in a mint slab, and there's 8 higher graded gem mint 10s. These Ruby, Ruby's Parallels were inserted one per Hobby Series box, uh, both Series 1 and Series 2. 
And it's a full 270 card parallel set. From 1995 Skybox EXL, we have the Michael Jordan No Boundaries insert, graded in mint SGC9, and sold at auction for $152.50. It's a pop of eight in a mint slab, and there are six higher graded mint plus 9.5s. Over at PSA, it's a PSA 9 pop of 136, and there are 35 higher graded gem mint 10s. PSA 9 sell for around 150 bucks or so. So right around the price of this SGC and gem in tens around a thousand, but not any recent sales, I would say. These were these uh, no boundaries inserts were randomly inserted into hobby packs at a rate of one in eighteen packs. Ninety five Skybox EXL. That's a nice looking insert that we don't see very often. From nineteen ninety six tops, we have the Michael Jordan Mystery Finest Super Team Refractor, graded a mint PSA nine. PSA forgot to put the refractor in the label here, but there is a regular version and a refractor version. If you look on the back, this is a refractor. It sold at auction for $331. It's a pop of only 64 in a mint slab, and there's only seven higher graded gem in tens. So there were super team redemption cards that were inserted into series one hobby and retail packs at a rate of one in 36 packs. Winning cards can be redeemed for the Mystery Finer Super Team Champion prizes. And here you got the 22 card Chicago Bulls NBA Champion insert set. And that's the Jordan from it. Cards are identical Mystery Finest bordered refractor inserts. However, they got a Super Team Champion logo on the front. It's on the lower right. And obviously the refractor shows on small print on the back. From 1994 Ultra, we have Shaquille O'Neal Scoring Kings insert, graded a near mint mint PSA 8, and it was a fixed price sale for 80 bucks. It's a pop of 60 in a PSA 8 slab. There's only 24 graded higher, with the highest being three gem mint 10s. The Scoring Kings for 94 were inserted one in 37 first series hobby packs, so they were still pretty tough pull box hits. From 1996 Metal, we have a Michael Jordan Platinum Portrait uh, graded in Near Mint Mint PSA 8 and sold at auction for $308. This is an awesome insert set, one of my favorites from the 90s. It's a pop of 87 in a PSA 8 slab. There's 85 graded higher, with the highs being 17 Gem Mint 10s. So for 96 Metal, the Platinum Portraits were inserted into Series 2 packs at a rate of 1 in 96 packs. From 1993 Upper Deck Special Edition, we have the Michael Jordan Behind the Glass insert, graded a mint SGC 9, and sold at auction for $182.50. It's a pop of 12 in a mint tuxedo slab, and there's none graded higher. Over at PSA, it's a mint 9 pop of 84, and there's only 10 gem mint 10s. Mint PSA 9 sell for around $250 or so, uh, and the gem mint 10s, $2,500 or more. These were inserted one in 30 retail packs of 93 Upper Deck Special Edition, or the entire 15 card set could be received in exchange if you get the Behind the Glass Trade Redemption, which was one in 360 hobby packs, but I guarantee you that is expired by now. From 1993 tops, we have the Michael Jordan Reigning Scoring Leader Gold Parallel Graded Gem in PSA 10, sold at auction for $247.50. That's a pop of 76 in the gem mint slab, and the gold parallels were inserted one per pack, and every fourth pack actually had two, so a little bit better odds than one per pack. From 1992 Flare Ultra, we have the Shaquille O'Neal Rejectors Rookie Year Insert, graded gem in PSA 10, sold at auction for $403. In the gem mint slab, the Shaq Rookie Cards a pop of 388. The Rejectors were inserted one in 26 Series 2 foil packs of 92 Ultra. We're going to finish it up with a lot here. This is a 1991 Fleer Complete Pro Vision 6 card set. All gem mint condition, all gem mint PSA 10s. And it was a fixed price sale for $325. So you're just under 55 bucks a card. The highest pop in gem mint condition is obviously the Jordan. It's a pop of 730. David Robinson's a pop of only 56. You got Barkley, uh, Sir Charles, he's a pop of 87. Patrick Ewing is a pop of 84. Carl Malone, 76. And Magic Johnson's a pop of 119. So around 55 bucks a card. I'd say that's a pretty good pickup to get the complete set. All right, that's it for the video. Let me know in the comments below what your favorite cards were. Also, if you have a quick second, please hit that like button. I truly appreciate the support. If you haven't checked out the affiliate links that we have in the description below, 
We have eBay Partner Network links for various search results specific to the video. If you want to do some browsing of some of these cards and sets, check out those links below. It's a pretty helpful reference. Also, we got a link to BCW Supplies, and you guys can save 10% with the code JUNKWAX10. And in addition, we have a link to the Market Movers app, and you can use the code JWI to get your first month subscription for just $1 to give it a try. As always, enjoy the rest of your day and keep collecting. Thank you.